The summer is here. Memorial Day usually marks the start of summer, and I'm sure we are all excited to see warmer temperatures. With that, the summer is always an excellent time for employees to take off from work, travel, and vacation. According to a Robert Half report, workers plan to take an average of 10 vacation days in 2019. In that very same report, 58% of the 2,800 workers polled save vacation time for the summer months of June, July, and August. This means managers can expect an increase in requests for PTO and flexible scheduling during the summer months. This is an excellent time to review your PTO policy to ensure that your organization can properly manage time off requests. Here are some tips your organization can use to manage PTO while giving employees their well-deserved time off vacation without negatively impacting your business. Number one, plan in advance. Oftentimes, employees know well in advance when they need to take time off. As an employer, you can be proactive and ask your employees to submit time off requests as soon as possible so that you can adequately prepare for any issues that may occur in their absence. PTO policy, number two. Make sure your PTO policy is up to date. Clarify who is eligible, the amount of time off employees may take, if eligible, when they should take it, and who should approve it. Number three, have a strategy for coverage. It is wise to have a point person to cover an employee who is out of office. Train employees to step in when needed. Number four, be flexible. Encourage your employees to be flexible. For example, everyone cannot take off the entire week of 4th of July. So compromise be the, may be the best course of action in these situations. If a system that appropriately tracks time is in place, accommodating employees' PTO requests should not be a problem. Remember, Employers Council has a sample PTO policy and considerations. Please contact us if you have any questions. Have a great summer.